how to add and edit pages and links on a GoDaddy website. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how simple it is to make some a few steps and add uh, how many pages and also links that you want into your GoDaddy website. All you need to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you are going to be good to go. The first thing that you need to do is to head over godaddy.com and then you only need to sign in for an account within the platform. After that, you're going simply to set up the uh, here the website that you have created. I'm going to click on my account right there at the top. Then we are going to select my products within the account options or the items. As you can see here, we have the dashboard of ours we can see here that we have created some websites already we are going to select one of the websites then we are going to start the work of it so i'm going to choose in this case my uh, website of jacks electronics then we are going to click on website and then we are going to see here the dashboard of that specific one now remember this is a free trial so we are going to be limited a little bit on the uh here uh the features that we can add so we're going to click at the right side here at edit website and then it will open up the website editor so now we have the uh website builder or the editor name it as you want and here we have the website or the preview of the website in real time so you can modify whatever from these elements by just selecting them for example for the text or you can go ahead and select here what type of text that you want to modify the fonts and the colors and etc so we are going to see here we have at the top of the right side here we have a little header we have a website which is the control panel of the website uh, here we have the theme that is going to be here at the uh, theme editor or the ch theme changer of the library. Here we have the color changer, the fonts, and also the type of buttons. As you can see, you can go ahead and change uh, the appearance of the buttons from transparent to the square one to the uh, filled one. Now for the fonts, you're going to see that we have a font right there. We have uh, the all the type of the fonts. Uh, also, we have the final part, which is the color. So now heading to the settings, you're going to see here the uh, possibility to change the um, uh, appearance of the website, like putting it uh, here public or not. But let's head over here the uh, website itself. So now we have here for the site navigation, we have the pages. As you can see, we have the home page, the shop, the privacy policy, and the terms and conditions. Enable or in order to uh, add a page, you are going simply to click on the plus button here, which is add page. And as you can see, we have here the multiple options that we can add. You can go ahead and add a new page and a link to an external website, a link to section on page, and also a drop down menu. So for adding a page, you need to upgrade your account to a more premium uh, subscription because it is a premium feature, as you can see. But for adding a link to an external website or, or to a section on the page, it is uh, here uh, doable and also uh, free to use and also the drop down menu. Now, if I want to create a, a link to an external website, you're going to click on it. Here, you're going to tink the title, for example, or link the title. I'm going to put here, uh, for example, we are going to put here maybe store to and then we are going to select here the website URL. For example, I'm going to put in here my website or my store of Shopify. I'm going to copy my link of Shopify store. Then we're going to paste it right there. So now we can go ahead and show it into the navigation. And also we can have here 
uh, to show it in the footer. So we are going to click on create link. And here we have it. So we have here store two. If you want to modify, for example, a page, for example, in my case, we have a shop page. I'm going to click on it and then it will guide you to that page. So how we can modify it? Simply, you can go ahead and select any of these elements and then you can modify it. For example, this is a product page. We can go ahead and click on the items right there or the description or the title of that page. Then we can see here that we have the product page right there. We can change the layout the image shape and the image scaling and etc. So here we have the social sharing options and etc. And also you can go ahead and add a section from here and there. So you are going to click on add section and here we have it. So we can go ahead and recommend and see the recommendations, add whatever section that you want. And here we have it. For the links, you're going to click on the link right there and you're going to only modify the uh, here the uh, accessible of the link. For example, you can go ahead and open that link, rename it or see the settings of it. For the modification, we don't have much because it is an external link. Now back to the site navigation, we can go ahead and add a link to a section on a page. For example, we are going to put a link title. For example, we are going to see here that we are going to set a title as description. And then we are going simply to uh, put here uh, the page, which is here going to be the home page. And the sections is going to be, I'm going to set up here, shop bestials right there. I'm going to set this and then you are going to click on create link. So once you are here, you're going to see some more uh, pages. You're going to click on it and it will take you right there. See here, this is a section of our homepage at the uh, bottom, which is named shop the best deal at jacks electronics so this is how we can modify the pages and also the link for the home page you can go ahead and click on the gear icon and add a product to it a category or manage the store also we can see here some page settings which is going to contain only the title of it so that was all for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the content and hope to see you soon on the next one.